Everyone's favorite undead thingamajigam. It's zombies, baby. And you guys may have seen this online. Round oh, let's eight, get into zombies it. is... Like the video if you're playing zombies is what you want and you're excited. One way to find let's out. See. Oh, and how, yeah, that's right. So new gameplay coming up right now, boys. I have see. two maps at launch and, and one of which we're going to be debuting here live at Call of Duty Next. So folks, welcome to Liberty Falls. Oh, they're showing it already? I thought they would they would do like question and answers first. There's a place just around Look, the bend, A place by the name of Liberty Falls. 1991's fastest growing town in America. And it's plain to see why. It's a place of simple tastes. Neighbors help one another. Oh, huh? Church ain't just for Sundays. The only thing is that I wish it was day. It was nighttime, not necessarily daytime. But the dark eater uh, looks good. What? Predator missile? Oh, jet gun looking good. Jet gun looking good. But kill streaks and zombies? Nah. Oh, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, Margo's back. Yo. The Yo, that zombie reminded me of Barry. Okay, looks kind of odd. The only thing I don't like so far is the the multiplayer streaks kind of thoughts. The multiplayer the multiplayer streaks kind of throws me off, man. Cause when I play zombies, I want it to be zombies. I don't want to. I want. I don't want it to feel like multiplayer. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. But what are your thoughts? Falls trailer. As Alex said, it's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> it's intense. It's, it's incredible, intense. right? Yeah. Small town. It was peaceful. It's a little more dangerous now. Huh? Yeah, it, it looked like it would have been a good time out with the family. Now, mm. not so much. <laughs> you, know? Been, you know, we've been riding the zombie hype train since reveal, and you know, I feel like I just hit a new level there. But there are two awesome round-based zombies maps that launched with Liberty Falls and, of course, Terminus Island, yeah, which you you know, we've been talking Jet's about. Gun, Jetgun looking good. Check, what does check, it feel check, like check. to just have both of these? out in the world now oh it's so awesome to have basically zombies month where we've yeah. gotten just so it really much has time been, yeah. uh, to show off all the hard work the team's been doing for the, the last four years and showcasing both maps very different we'll get into that it's just been great four yeah, years. lots of hard work four over years. the years uh from the zombies team and steve liberty falls kind of feels like a new setting for zombies like you said the small town it's bright it feels like a little bit of a different place. What you know? Indeed. What's this map all about? Yeah, it's it's this really idyllic small town. You know, it's in West Virginia, but now it's like the site of a zombie incursion zone. So watch out! It's just destroyed immediately, right? It's crazy. But there's so many details when you look around the map and all these little shops and things like that. You just, it's it's such a built-out world. It's great. And there's actually all Get these more. little stories <laughs> about the people Get who used more. to live there and some little side quests that maybe you'll find. You guys, side quests, them. never. So, what? yeah. Well, you gotta wait till it comes out. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. And, um, of course, Black Ops 6 is set. I think we might get gameplay in just a little bit. So they dropped the trailer for it. I think after q and then we might get gameplay, like maybe YouTubers playing it. We see it all over Black Ops 6, but this has got that nice nostalgia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Terminus, it's a little hard to get that 90s vibe when you're in a remote Pacific a dark prison. prison. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been so, to a few prisons <laughs> in the 90s. So, Liberty you know. Falls is really like where we got to just embrace everything from nostalgia of 90s i got you rob child when they're in the 90s yes so I got just you, to bring all these little elements so for me it's like the comic shop bowling alley the video oh, they store. are playing zombies okay yeah we're stores. getting zombies <laughs> i used to actually work in a video store in the late 90s you know with vhs tapes and all no, that so yeah. make sure when they existed. always rewind right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep, exactly yep. Uh, so you, you oh, man, no, and, no, no, no. Uh, Oh man, it feels like multiplayer, bro. That's not that's not what I want, man. That's yeah, I am. Yeah. So you got people were putting two and two together on that. Uh, what are going to be some of the biggest differences though between uh, the Terminus experience versus the Liberty Falls experience? Yeah. 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 So Terminus, or rather, Liberty Falls has a pretty a deceptive calm compared to like the more immediate threat you feel when you load into Terminus. Terminus is dark. It's claustrophobic. Immediate. Oh so sheesh! You feel that threat, you know. The brightness of uh, Liberty Falls will have you feeling almost kind of okay. safe. Like okay, okay, looks, looks, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Scoops, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is all. Don't tempt me. Yeah, okay. you know, you know, it's not all good. You know, as you explore the map, 
you'll start to see the signs of the outbreak. You'll see the signs of a failed um, attempt to uh, contain this thing. Ah, okay. Uh, so, you know, it'll be everything. Man, without the HUD, it looks good. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Without the HUD, it looks good. It's just the HUD that throws me off, man. And the kill streaks and zombies, uh, yeah. Kill streaks and zombies, that's a no bueno. It, for me, in, in my opinion, thoughts. And the HUD makes it feel like multiplayer, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna write that one down. But uh, no HUD it is. Story, because you kind of hinted at it a little bit. It's a failed attempt at a containment, which means yeah. you know we got to look at the cinematic Pause. earlier this week uh, that's gonna set up the map. And damn, there are some spooky things yeah. happening in there. Um, you know, we're seeing uh, for the very first time the man himself, Edward Richtofen, uh, since Black Ops Cold War. Damn, he yeah, family man right now. get yeeted into another dimension here by Bruh. the by the ether. What does this mean, Kevin? Well, you know, I think it's the, the cinematic, first of all, is incredible. But um, I don't think this is how we expected to find Rick Toffin. And um, it's a bit of a change of expectations. Um, we're not going to give anything away right yeah. now. OK, but we're really just setting the groundwork for the game in this in this cinematic. Um, it's basically whatever you saw at the end there and Rick Toffin. Well, and also, too, we see his family, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to make some assumptions here. It seems like they were violently murdered yes. or there's some sort no, of very... Yeah. I think yeah. they just were out at the sun too long, Steph. I hope he doesn't yeah. have those nightmares. No, su no sunblock that. on the picnic. That'll do, that'll do some things um, to you. Yeah, so up until now, we've really been framing him up as this villain. Yeah. And, you know, he's done terrible things to our crew on right. Trumpus Island. But now we found out some terrible things have happened to him. So it's a bit more gray than you might have initially thought, right? Yeah, so, we're I mean, adding best, some uh, complexity. Yeah, yeah, the best villains are always the ones that believe that they're doing the right thing, yes. you know what I mean? There were some really sick moments in that trailer as well, so you can yes. definitely get the vibe that there was, uh, it's gonna be pretty wild. <laughs> I'm excited. Right, show us the game boy, show us the game boy. The I'm just gonna, I'm gonna push on a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna push on a little bit, you, uh, you tell me no. <laughs> was that a Maxis voice that I heard there? I don't know. And you can make some assumptions there. If you played the end of Cold War, some things happen that really kind of translate here and you can kind of uh, connect the points. So is that what you would suggest uh, players are if they want to get into the story? If, while we're waiting? Yeah, yeah. If you want to jump into Cold War, it's a great time to go check out those main quests. And I'd get be doing it. I, I see yeah. your name. Okay. I see your Cold War Zombies. But all right, we're headed right into Zombies gameplay here. But a okay. few Let's quick see. things for those of you watching at home. We are spoiler free today. We That's do not right. want to ruin the moment. Play it at launch. Uh -huh. So the main quest and all the Easter eggs are actually turned off. And of course, um, uh, otherwise, man, Sega's would have finished the, the Easter egg <laughs> during the stream in at the reveal Apex like today. Currently with Terminus, dedicated crews busy. They're trying to break out of prison, so they're not at Liberty Falls. They are. We're going to see a different set of characters uh, played by the folks here on that map today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And let's so, see. Let's see. Well, she'll be waiting any minute now to be jumping into the action. But it seems like uh, once that's good to go, Black Ops Six Zombies yeah, is yeah, live. Here, there you have it. And we are in to the action. We're going to be sticking around with this one uh, for a little bit, talking about oh, what, we're, uh, what we're what we're going to be seeing. And uh, I mean, I'm just excited to have round base zombies back that is going to be really exciting okay already man hit marker zombies health bar gotta go bro mini map gotta go the hud is just but to be fair they did say they're gonna have uh, the option to turn off stuff so that's good that's good we call this the alamo it's like the last holdout that they had here project janice so it's actually where you'll find the wonder fizz inside here yeah wonder juice this is kind of the classic yeah, yeah. central point of the map so there's a lot of good things that a lot of connect man juggernaut looks like a dollar machine like from wish.com in comparison to before man uh, uh, who's your handler you know like what what's the goal of the liberty falls mission right the black ops 3 juggernaut machine looks the best and black ops 2 sure and he's the head of janice security okay you Why know rick's often told him lock it down the, uh, try to protect liberty falls as we see here weapons? they didn't really succeed so you enter as an outside group and he mistakes you as part of project janice so he starts to team up with you and guide you along to try to salvage the situation see if anyone's still alive okay uh, figure out what's going on really just try to contain but you said that he way. he assumes that you are a part of the group so you yes. might not be oh, he might not be oh yeah. Yeah. Looking good. okay all right that is I, i'm quite curious to see how that story plays out with there but that's gonna be pretty damn yeah. cool yeah <laughs> I, I want okay so it looks like that by default they have like zombie health on and all the hud on that makes it look like multiplayer that's bad bro that that looks bad 
Yeah, otherwise, the, there have been some moments that they showed that look genuinely very, very good. And the other zombie map that we saw, without the HUD gameplay, it looks very good. Without the HUD game, without the HUD, the gameplay looks very good. Support, which is mostly score streaks, but a self revive. Um, we're actually limiting how many self revives you can craft a game now to three. Oh, to only three per match. Make it a little tougher yep. in higher rounds, less opportunities. I definitely needed that. I needed Oh, yes. here's a. Uh, our first abomination. Oh, okay. that one locks there. And he's gone. I mean, that ray gun <laughs> is. <laughs> you can always leave it up to the ray gun. gun. Yeah. Uh, somebody, let, of course, Lego lock out the ray gun. Oh, he plays so The ray gun okay. has, a, uh, has a new look that we're. Uh, Brad is already yeah. on so round 16. The, uh, the weapons team did an amazing job. They remodeled the weapon and gave it a, a huge polish pass. So, like the weapon inspect, it's, it looks amazing. You actually see the cartridges as you reload. Um, Take there's a lot another. more animations when he's firing it to you. You could see it was revolving around there. So yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. I'm sure we'll. Get I'm not necessarily judging the graphics uh, because they look right now they're looking bad, uh, but I'm not judging them because it's stream quality, right? So graphically, it's gonna be not like super crazy, but it's not gonna be this bad, guys. So I'm not necessarily judging the graphics, uh, but I'm judging the HUD because this is how the HUD is gonna be. And uh, yeah, zombie health bar and hit markers. They did. They did say we can turn it off, right? Uh, so what, yeah, what is like being in, in this map? Like, how does this uh, relate to the player? Ah, uh, kill streaks, nah, bro, nah, nah. Am I the only one, or are you saying that's nitpicking? Am I nitpicking, or you guys feel the same way? Like, can, yeah, like maybe on Warzone, if the zombies that are gonna be on Warzone, like uh, Modern Warfare 2023, then makes sense to have like kill streaks. I guess for Outbreak makes sense, but for round base, nah, nah. I think it's because I played so many like uh, so much of Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, and Black Ops Three zombies and the old school zombies that nah, you know what I mean. But for Outbreak, it makes sense to have that. For Outbreak, yeah, I'm fine I with it. But that, I think for people Outbreak, are going nah. to be yeah. able to make your ray gun look oh. like a different yeah, ray gun. We're, yeah, cool. we're super excited for the day one hunt. You know, on this map, everyone's really stoked. Working on the map, we, we can't wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a lot of work done that day. I gotta be honest with you guys. Yeah. No if you're looking for anything, no. I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> you can definitely also see a. a the Omni movement as well playing a role in this too, right? You know, the Mangler? Uh, that has to add a different layer to this because now, yeah. you know, before you're like, oh, I got to turn around and run. But now you could just like it's slide a back. <laughs> yeah, you could just move away. Has that added uh, some fun layers to the uh, to the zombies experience? I'd, I'd say definitely with PhD. Flopper. So they got Mangler, they got PhD yeah, Flopper, they got Mangler from awesome. Gorat Krovi, Black Ops 3 Zombies. Margo are from Shadows of Evil Black Ops 3, right? So fluid to get around. You, you can run backwards now, but there might be zombies behind you, so it's, it's not I think without HUD, advantage. this would slap. It's safe to assume there are zombies anywhere. They did say we're gonna have Black Ops 3 zombies like HUD, but to be fair, I saw that and it does not look as good as Black Ops 3 zombies HUD. But it, there is one that is similar, but not identical, apparently. Not like same, same ish. I, uh, yeah, Black Ops 3 Zombies HUD was go uh, golden, bro. Black Ops 2 Zombies HUD was also really good. I don't know what's up with these suckers. Like, why can't they make something that they already made? Like, they're, they're recycling everything, so why not recycle the. The HUD either, like, yeah, you know what I mean for zombies. Definitely, we'll have both at the launch. Both these maps will have main quests that we, you know, we're super stoked for people to play. Being put but the night map that the other day looked very good. This map also feels like it has good vibes a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I'm mixed right now. I'm kind of mixed. I'm kind of mixed. Again, harder and harder. Yeah, I think we're always trying. Yeah. Top when the world is trying to solve a, a single puzzle. But yeah. That's a homie DK. That's a homie DK right now, man. Damn, man, that's what we need, K, bro. Uh, I mean, kill strikes make sense. It just feels like multiplayer. That's the only thing, man. I don't want zombies feeling like multiplayer at all, man. Oh, the RK5? Oh, she. Okay, RK5 looking like weapon. But other than that, I feel like zombies are gonna be good. And maybe I'm coping right now. Maybe I'm coping. You guys think that I'm coping or what? I want zombies being good. I'll, I'll be honest, man. Oh, that's a homie chopper. What we've done is uh, allow the uh, the quest, or rather the the rounds, to progress um, as the player opens Coping. up the map and completes the quest. Oh, okay, so like the gobble gum. Steps, um, I love the fact that gobble gums are back. Well, we've given it a general cap of round 15, so things will never get too crazy for the players. Yeah, but uh, this, yeah, so we're this area reminds me of Blackout from Black Ops 4. You know, when you would go to graveyard in Blackout, there would be zombies. Yeah, that small area had that vibe. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think we all know someone that is just 
either been intimidated or just hasn't been able to get into the main quest because of the difficulty. Yeah, the HUD is just trash, bro. Oh, we're seeing a trap. For zombies, it's trash, bro. Yep. So this Man. is a new trap just oh on word. Liberty Falls. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about Etherella here. This is a life-size action figure here um, from a comic book, right? That actually you can fire this up and she blasts zombies with her laser death beam eyes here. But you, know, you, gotta, you gotta watch out there because you know you, your head could get clipped too. So make, uh, yeah. be sure to crouch. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Big guy was saw, taking some shots there. Yeah, Big yeah, guy was yeah. taking a few, some yeah, collateral yeah. damage. You don't want to hang out in the comic book uh, on, on top of the counter there. You might, might get blasted during that. But just great witty comments. Uh, as part of that so well. you guys noticed uh, uh so i'm noticing this like okay so mini god is playing look at watch his uh, points right he got uh 300 uh, 3755 cash right now one thing that i just noticed is that when you shoot you do see the points like the older days but you don't necessarily get the cash the older point system was so good i don't know why they tried to fix what was not even broken i believe they changed the point system in black ops 4 if i'm not mistaken and they kept it that way like, uh, in Black Ops 3 Zombies, Black Ops 2 Zombies, the point system was actually good. Oh, shit! Oh, oh she's got the jet gun. Okay, so speaking of, Hutch, the one of the OGs, we could talk about this. Um, every map has its own unique wonder weapon yeah. in Black Ops 6. Yes. Which, what are we looking at here? This is the jet gun, right, for this map. Uh, this is a favorite returning, maybe? Fan Yo, going first from, person yeah, dog? From transit that we're actually boosting up here, and, and you're not going to break it apart now right like last time you're yeah gonna this gotta be theater mode that they're watching right or can you go through i mean they did say you can go third person in in a way it's gonna suck in all these in the zombies, game, I chop believe? them up if i'm not kind mistaken. Of spit them out the back end of that you can actually pull in salvage um power stuff ups. like power-ups yeah. we have um weapons and things like that too if you get so it's really fun to use that weapon um just cranking through the zombies but you know it yeah. also has a new uh Specialty weapon uh, blast that you can do and charge up and it fires off and oh um, that's sick. Yeah. 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 In case of emergency, break glass type yeah. scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, like I said, a lot of new things that are going to be coming to this. We just saw uh, even things that are returning that are getting a fresh coat of paint on it. Uh, but also, I want to talk about the new perk machines as well because yes. there's one name in particular that I absolutely love: the melee macchiato. Yeah. <laughs> it's just too good. What is it? What can you tell us about it? So this perk machine it's new and it is everything that is 90s we've got grunge rock we've got boxing we've got coffee so <laughs> coffee shops what's coffee better shops. Yeah. <laughs> um so maybe called a cup of kino wait do you see what it costs <laughs> yeah, nice. you drink it it replaces your gun butt with this lethal punch that sends zombies flying really fun to use it also uh ties in nicely with our dedicated melee which is also coming to zombies so yes. when you bring your baseball bat your knife in it buffs the damage for that as What's well this? so it's a really nice perk especially early rounds okay armor that, three kind of okay oh, they got the armor system armor as well buy, yeah which is new yeah so we've moved armor uh as wall buys instead of it used to get it you'd have to um get it from uh the arsenal yeah and yeah. so now it's it's more it's such an important thing um, that we thought we wanted to get that out there at the level and it's part of the core progression, right? You're, you're deciding do I want to get jug or do I want to get tier 2 armor? Yeah, right? and, and, that kind of thing. and that can obviously, you know, like be your undoing ultimately <laughs> or it could be the thing that bails you out in the exactly. end, right? Prepare accordingly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But uh, it's not just about, you know, all of the new things coming to zombie because we actually have some really awesome things returning from previous zombies experiences that have that exciting twist on top and one of those things that's hugely important it does feel very bland sadly but one but but the reason i'm not like super uh we've seen the the other map right in good quality and that looked very very good to me that looked very good so i think when we get to see the the actual good quality version uh, and gameplay of this map it might be good maybe i'm coping am i coping you think i'm coping because yeah with the hud uh, i guess you can turn off the hud change it okay so whatever because right now the hud is looking very bad kill streaks nah uh, i guess daytime zombie maps just don't hit the same as nighttime maps maybe that's also another thing could be wrong i don't know i don't know am i coping am i coping i'm just trying to uh, find out because we have like i'm hearing these issues i'm hearing these problems and I'm trying to fix them, right? Like the HUD, right? The HUD is like, yeah, making it look very bad. But you can turn off the HUD, so problem solved right there. I think you're coping. Man, I want zombies being good, bro. Like, damn, man. 
Because right now it's like it feeling it feels like a multiplayer match, bro. With bots enabled, that's what it feels like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I I want zombies being good, man. I want zombies being good. Man. Uh, we should be able to see a zombie as well, dedicated to melee. Uh, yeah, we got plenty. Like <laughs> Micah's like, to go weird, to go weird. Yeah, it's you're like coping. You want to bring that over. It's a zombie. Oh, whatever, bro. We're talking about coffee and butter. Uh, <laughs> and maybe it's something about watching the zombies try to eat you that's... Uh, yeah, we can't leave, we can't leave. it's a little bit of that, but yeah, it's a different maybe. kind of hunger. It's yeah, a bit more evil. Uh, so Kevin, <laughs> augments are also a huge new thing coming to zombies in Black Ops 6. And uh, I've heard this referred to as build crafting a little bit. You get the. I'm pretty sure you guys for 170 likes, man. <laughs> like the stream if you hope zombies turns out to be good, man. Okay, so I died on round 16. Corridor. This idea that the longer you play zombies, you get to power up your abilities, your field upgrades, your perks, your ammo mods, make them more powerful. What's different this time around is you're unlocking augments, and there's six per category of content. So you have minors and majors, and you can equip one of each. And the idea here is that Depending on what you're trying to do in the game, whether it's high rounds, playing as a group, going for the main quest, right? Yeah. That's really going to impact. Man, he got the jet gun. Show us the first person gameplay, bruh. Is it, uh, are they doing that on purpose? Uh, or, or it's just that uh, if he's playing it in third person. If he's playing in third person, okay, that's kind of dope. I like that. I like that. I like that. How do you play in third person? Is there a way any of you know right now in chat? Or do you think you know, they're just using theater mode on him? To show, because he got the jet gun, so they don't want to show jet gun gameplay. Maybe that's what it is. What combos people come up with and builds. Uh, yeah. Just, so yeah. one thing that I always loved when um, at the studio, when you guys talk about. I feel like that you guys want this game to be Fortnite somehow. No, people don't want this game to be Fortnite, bro. People want this game to be zombies. Like, that's what I've been saying. It feels like multiplayer right now, and I don't like that. I want zombies to be zombies. We want game being good, bro. We don't want it to be Fortnite. Hey, we'll take that literally, and that seems like how we got mutant. But but Call of Duty, they surely feels like they want it um, that so, way. Yeah, here we have it. You you see, you inject yourself, and you actually can become a mangler for a limited amount of time, and you just plow through zombies and oh my chop goodness. them up and blast them. It's great, you know. Uh -huh. And that we've been wanting to do this for a really long time, and the animators actually showed us like, hey, check this out. Like, let's let's do this. Let's make this happen in this game. So we're like, yeah. So this is the first Unreal. score streak that's really meant for zombies. Man. And it's just so, it's such a blast to play. I, also, you can so hear fun. the maniacal laugh. Okay, this uh, this score streak feels uh, on brand. I mean, it's a zombie kill streak. I like that, but I don't like the idea of uh, kill streaks and multiplayer kill streaks and zombies. I don't like that. I don't like that. But okay, that mangler streak that gets a pass. See, like I don't like this. This feels like I'm watching multiplayer, bro. Like damn, bro. Like maybe I'm nitpick nitpicking, but uh. Incredible. Yeah, I think I'm nitpicking. No, for sure, for sure. All right, well, there's uh, other things to talk about here as well. Uh, Kevin, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the arsenal as well, and like what what should we be expecting there? Yeah, so we've really streamlined the arsenal this game. Um, and also yeah, we're we are, are we up early. Okay. Uh, it will, What's up, man? How you doing, man? Welcome, buddy. One stop shop for weapon upgrades. It's where you spend your salvage to upgrade rarity and apply ammo mods. Um, what's also really cool, though, is this guy. This time, it's kind of got an AI uh, drill and sergeant. Okay. Voice, and it will actually kind of call you out if it notices that you you run nearby it. If your yeah. weapon's underpowered, it might be like you know kind of shout at you. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I nice love way. it when my NPC judge me. Um, you know, to, yeah. to get over here and upgrade it. Um, <laughs> Because it's really it's really important to kind of keep up with the power band uh, as these zombies get harder and harder. Yeah, we just heard someone wail on the other side. You're nitpicking. Am I nitpicking? Yeah, probably. I don't know, man. I, it's just that like I played so much of Black Ops 3 Zombies and Black Ops 3 Zombies, and I love those games. And I've been waiting ever since to get a game similar to that. New, but similar to that. And it's been a minute since we got anything like that. The night map gameplay that we saw the other day looked very, very good, bro. I love that. I love that. This one, I think, has potential. Maybe it's the stream quality is this bad. The HUD is just a no-no, but you can turn it off. So that's not necessarily too big of an issue. But you feel what I'm saying, right? Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta see like full 4k gameplay for for this map as well Maybe in 4k it's gonna look good and it's gonna feel good as well Maybe that's what it is thoughts agree disagree. Let me know man. Let